What is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called uh, professional wrestling guys. You can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my thoughts on uh, all elite wrestling and before I do that would love to know what your thoughts are on AEW down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notifications of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did and when it comes to AEW I'll be completely honest I don't watch Collision if I do it's very few and far in between I do not watch Rampage I don't think I ever have uh, and I kind of sort of somewhat watch dynamite and what i mean by that is from june i don't remember the exact date but like the da da or dynamite after double or nothing 2022 was the first full dynamite i had ever watched and uh from then up until now i would watch in the summer time i would watch in the winter part of spring but pretty much once survivor is on up until it ends i watch or i fast forward through um through dynamite the next day just to see if there's any certain matches i seen from survivor ending and when i watch dynamite kind of deal because survivor uh will uh I, I get more entertainment from survivor more times than i have during dynamite since i started watching uh and whatnot but for myself personally from what when i started watching up until now dynamite pay-per-views Overall, I do like it, AEW. Pay-per-views have been definitely up and down since the very first one. Um, you can say all in 20, I think that was 2018, but whatever the first official one was in early 2019 up until now has been more positive than negative uh, and whatnot. But when it comes to Dynamite, I don't, again, watch week in, week out. I'm not a, what some people would call, diehard fan. I'm not a ride or die with Dynamite uh, and whatnot. There are, or AEW in general uh, and whatnot, there are definitely wrestlers within AEW and you can throw in ROH that I really enjoy that it could be the only place I could watch them wrestle kind of deal on a relatively large large platform dynamite collision large platforms I don't know if you would consider rampage and ROH large platforms but for myself personally it's like last couple of years it was the only place I could watch Omega the Bucks Adam Page Dalton Castle on TV uh, and whatnot, Eva Luno, Stu Grayson, uh, Super S or SSB, Super Smash Bros, a uh, tag team that I was following for like a decade uh, and whatnot pre, a maybe not a decade pre AEW, but for most of the 2010s uh, and whatnot. So even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan supporter mark whatever terminology you would want to use towards aew i i don't want to say i love it because i don't it's one of those things where even though i might not watch every single product week in week out i am still grateful that it's around because it's another spot for wrestlers whether they're on the independent scene kind of deal under some form of a contract or the in the main event level uh kind of deal on um, whatnot challenging for the top title uh to like the referees the commentators it's another spot for them to make paychecks you can also throw in the behind the scenes people like people who set up tear down the stage uh television production people working at the venue uh and whatnot that's one additional shift that they might not have had if it were not for aew so even though i personally am not the biggest fan of aew kind of deal i know there's that there's a lot of people that are diehards ride or die i'm not that nowhere near it but I'm still happy that it's around again it's another paycheck for the people in the wrestling uh industry or in the venue industry that might not get 
uh, that paycheck kind of deal. And it's competition for WWE. You can throw in competition for New Japan uh, and whatnot. But yeah, that is it for this one. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. But it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's